This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Reform Friday, where we play some random video game, and today's game is called Evil Genius 2 World Domination, and it's kind of like a Dungeon Keeper style game, except you're not running a dungeon, you're running like an Evil Genius um, base of operations. It's essentially the same thing. You dig out corridors, you make rooms, you manage minions, all of that good stuff. So we are going to go to new game and I was going to do sandbox. I actually record a little bit of doing sandbox because I thought that that would give me the ability to show you guys the game properly, but it's not an accurate representation of the game because there's like whole chunks of it that are just missing and you don't actually spend any money. So we're going to go create new and I guess I'll just show you as much as of it as I can with just playing the game as normal, but it's like kind of story based, like you play through stuff you'll see here in a minute. So we're gonna be this lady, cause I like this lady. She's like the science lady. We're gonna go next. And then we have um, different map options here. So there's only current, there's currently only three. If we go back, you can see up here, there is a store, so I assume at some point they're probably going to sell you additional map options. Anyway, let's go back to create new and go back through this again. But yeah, as it stands right now, you only have three options. You can check them out. You can get details on different stuff here. So like you can see uh, forces of justice, threats, and stuff like that. You can also take a look at the gallery to get an idea of what's going on in there all of that kind of stuff. Um, I think we're gonna go with, uh, you know, I haven't played this one yet. Let's, well, no, I don't really like that one. What's this one look like? Mm, that one doesn't have a, yeah, we're just gonna go with the easiest one. This is the easiest one, it's good, it's good to go. Yeah, let's just do it. That brings us to this screen here, which we can change our different settings. I do not want a tutorial, um, so we can go through here and do this. You can also customize it specifically how you want by clicking this one. I'm just gonna leave everything on easy because it's not about the challenge. I just wanna show you the game, uh, so we wanna be able to do that easily. And when you first load in, there's like a little cutscene. I don't know if we can skip it. I don't know how to skip it. Doesn't look like we can. Okay, how is she? She's gonna have to duck a lot. Like a lot, a lot to get through there. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can skip it either, which kind of sucks. Like, let me skip, I don't care. Okay, so here we go. This is what we start with. It tells us here that we have to do a bunch of stuff up here. Um, we're just gonna kind of hide that right now. And uh, we need to start by building. So we can click down here to start by building or we can close that. We can just, I have it set so we can right click as well. Uh, we got a bunch of different uh, options here as you see. The only way to make this go away, it's super annoying. You have to click each of these to make the little red things go. I hate when games like, okay, we got, we get it. There's new stuff there, but then like, you gotta go in and like, Click it and to make it go away, like just let it go away, like uh, or give me an option to not notify me when new things pop up, like it's super freaking annoying. And like each of these is just a different color, so I gotta go through and uh, yeah, this game has a bunch of annoying things. It's a fun game, but it has a bunch of super annoying stuff. Okay, now that I got all the annoying little, hey, you got new things out of the way, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna build some corridor. So we are going to go like this, and uh, we got 40 grand. We got to make sure we don't spend too much. And then we're also going to take some corridor down this way, like so. We need a nice big room for our gold. So we need a vault. Now I'm going to put this here, but I eventually want to expand it all the way out. But for now, we're going to keep it relatively small. So just something like that. Then we need a door. So that is always four. So you just cut a little hole in the wall that's four. Um, we can rotate the camera. We move around with W, A, S, and D. We can rotate the camera with Q and E. We can also rotate it with the middle mouse, but the middle mouse also rotates up and down and left and right. And it's a little janky. I don't really like it. Um, we, I, I find it much easier to move the camera with Q and E. And then if you want to look up and down, you hold shift when you're hitting W or S and you can rotate your camera that way. You can also spin the camera with A and D if, if you're holding down shift. So it's just, uh, if you want to place your camera in a specific angle and all that, it's much easier to do it with the keyboard instead of using the mouse. Okay, so we have our vault. Now we need places to actually store the gold. So we're just going to do this. And this will give us some, some spots here to actually store the gold. Now that we have that, we need a power room. I want a nice large power room as well. So 
but we're going to come over here to power and this whole chunk here is going to be power but once again we only have a limited amount of money so we are going to keep it relatively small to start with something like that cut a four long hole in the door grab a door for the door grab the door and uh, rotate, you can rotate, it will snap, but you can also rotate with R, uh, and then we'll just place that down there, and then we wanna put a couple of these bad boys in here, so we're just gonna put uh, two there, and two there. You also have to leave, yeah, that's, that's annoying, let's move that. Uh, you also have to leave a gap for them, so you can't just um, place them all super close together but we can place that there. It looks like we might actually have to dig a little bit more out of the wall here. So let's see if we can do that. Let's go back over here. Can we dig just one more little bit of space here? Yeah, now let's move this. So uh, you can click to move or you can just hold it down and move it. Now can I fit one here? Yeah, there we go, that's looking good. So then I can put another one here. We can have this space going down uh, the middle there. We also need the thing to incinerate corpses. So I'm just gonna stick that here at the edge or the end of the, the alleyway there for now or the hallway. Uh, that's looking good. Let's click confirm all. Let's let them build that. Um, it looks like it wants us to complete some side story stuff and we need to build an inner sanctum as well. We'll get to that. Uh, let's come up here and take a look. So we have research. Once again, to get it to go away, you have to click the things to get the little red dots to go away. So, yep, okay, good, we know we got stuff to do there. Um, then we come over here, there's also the objectives. You have a bunch of different objectives that you can do. These are ways that you can unlock new stuff and earn money as well. So you can see here, by doing these, we get money. For doing these, we get henchmen's and, uh, you know, additional henchmen's, stuff like that. Those are options that we can do there. Once again, we have to click them to get the freaking dots to go away. Okay, uh, we're just going to speed things up here, let the minions go through and do this, and we'll talk about some other ways you can earn money. All right, now that those are built, we need to come over here and we need to build a, uh, what's this room? The control room. That's gonna allow us to do the global operation stuff. So we're just gonna start with, uh, let's just do an eight by eight for now. Read this construction. Oh, apparently we can't. Um, okay, well, we're gonna just place the stuff anyway, and then we need to place a little computer there, and we also need to go over here and place a door. So we're gonna do that, come over here to items, grab that, and snap that in there like that, click confirm. Okay, so once you have your control room set up and you have one of these computers, you can come over here to the global operations, and we can see if we can unlock one of these places here. So let's just go with something like this and we can scout it. It's gonna cost us three workers, that's fine. We're just gonna do that and we can come back over here to the base and just click home and uh, we have to sacrifice three workers in order to do that. Every time we do something over there, it costs us minions, but it's fine because we constantly get, you know, a flow of minions coming in. And as you do things, other optional like side little thingies will pop up as well. Like it wants this simple one here just to build a training room and then it's gonna give us 5,000 gold, so we can go ahead and do that now because we're eventually gonna need a training room. So I want this to be vault. I want all of this to eventually be for power. So we're gonna just uh, come over here. We're gonna grab our training room and we're just gonna throw up a little training room. Let's see, where do we wanna put one? Let's just do something small like right here. Okay, if we come over here and take a look, we're at 29 of the 64 tiles that we need there. So we can build some more tiles. We can also come out here to this now that we have this, this going and you can see we have options here. So we can click this to see what it wants. So it's gonna give us uh, 10,000 gold, cost us three workers and it's gonna take three minutes to complete. This is gonna give us 20,000. It's gonna cost three workers, it's gonna take 30. I need the gold now. So we're gonna launch this scheme and uh, we're gonna tell it not to ask again because we know it's going to cost us minions and we're just gonna send the minions over there to do it. Now, while we're doing this, we can't do anything else. It's also builds heat and we'll talk about that here in a minute. So we're going to go back to uh, the thing over here and we're going to attempt to spend the rest of our money on tiles here. So we need 64 of them. Okay, let's let that uh, complete there and see if that's enough. I'm not counting. I could count, but I don't want to count. 
I'm just gonna keep adding tiles until I get enough. Okay, and that was enough. So there we go. We can click collect reward and we just got five grand. That's gonna be super helpful to us because now we can come over here and do stuff like add additional computers in over here. Actually, this room needs to be a little bit bigger. So let's see about expanding this room out a little more. Let's go back a little bit, something like that. And then let's just click and hold down and we're gonna move this back here. And that's gonna cost us a grand 400 so let's see about placing another computer there and click confirm all so the next easiest one we got here is it wants us to build a mess hall we need that anyway once again it wants 64 tiles so i think what we're going to do actually though is we're going to click here so you can just right click it builds up the menu but it's uh context sensitive so whatever room you click in it will swap to so like if i click to this you can see it's the power room if we click here it brings up already for the corridor. So we're gonna dig back this way. Actually, let's see, I want this to come back to right about here. Well, we can throw a little tiny mess hall in here. So let's go over here to this and we'll just do something like that. And then this needs to be four. And then we come over here to this. And uh, let's see, That I don't know if that's gonna be 64. Maybe, maybe not. We will eventually be able to dig through that, so I'm not too worried. Let's put down something like that. If I need more, I'll dig out here on the sides. Uh, let's just do a confirm all. And our scheme is done, so we're good on that front. Uh, we've built a little bit of heat over here, but we'll be all right. So for this next one, I'm gonna do this one. This is just going to get us more gold over a longer period of time. So what happens is it doesn't like instantly generate, like it generates as that time is going on. If I click here, you can see we're getting 20 gold every five or 20 money every five seconds. So if we click this and we do this one, this just increases that amount from what I've been able to tell. So we're just gonna do that and uh, that's gonna, it's gonna do the thing there. Let's open up another one here. So let's, uh, let's go here and see if we can scout this one. We're gonna have to sacrifice some more workers, but that's fine. And uh, we'll eventually get this one going. This will get us more gold income over a period of time and we can run more schemes. All right, the new one is set up over here so we can come over here and choose some more. So uh, let's just go with both of these 20,000 ones. We'll send some more workers over here and then head back. That's gonna get us a nice little bit of gold income generation going on right now. Another room that we're gonna need for our minions is a place for them to sleep. So we're gonna build this corridor the rest of the way down here and we're gonna come over here here to this and we're just gonna start right there something like that this way we can eventually expand it out a little more I will eventually be able to dig through this we just need to do the whole sciencey thing there uh, we need one more there and let's go over to the door we'll drop a door down oh nope maybe I can't count so let's go back over here there we go let's try to drop a door down now there we go, there's a door. So lockers allow us to have more minions. So we're gonna make sure that we get some lockers in here. They also need places to sleep. So we're going to also accommodate them with that. To complete this construction. Oh, actually maybe I want a little too overboard. So let's cancel some of these here and let's rotate over this way. And we'll do one bunk right there, there. In there all right that's a pretty good start so let's just confirm that so they need a lot of accommodations we'll eventually get to the point where they have some there's some other ones here that they need so like this one this one keeps them smart where's the other one this one gives them like a break to keep up morale uh, they got a bunch of different things that you have to look after um, this one is their food and then of course their bunk you also can't leave dead bodies laying around, so we had some agents come in and we just off them. I just used my my lady here. You can't leave them around because the dead bodies will lower their morale, so you have to have the burner. All right, one of the main objectives we have here is we need to complete our inner sanctum, so we're gonna work on that next. That's this one over here. This is like your, your evil person's lair. Um, I wanna be able to expand that back that way and this is gonna go down this way. But how far do we wanna go down? So let's see, it'll probably go to about here eventually. So I think this is a safe spot to start with the inner sanctum. So we're just gonna do something like eight by 10. It wants us 64 tiles, that should give us 80 tiles. And then we'll just do this for the door. And then we'll come over here to items. 
and we'll drop that down and let's start with just the chair. This takes up a ton of space. We'll get it later when we expand things a little bit more, but yeah, that's uh, super expensive, but we should get some money back once we get that complete. Plus I need a place for her to hang out. She should regenerate HP at some point. I just don't know how. Um, I know the minions can do the, this thing here, but if I click that, she just won't do it. So I'm hoping that putting her in her chair will regen some of her HP. I had to use her to fight a little bit. Okay, yeah, so putting her in her chair is causing her HP to regen. So that's super handy. We can use her to fight easily. Just gotta be careful she doesn't die. She's a pretty decent fighter, does a decent amount of damage. So we have our training room, but we can't do anything with it. It's completely useless like right now. We have to unlock additional training type or additional minion types in order to do that. We come over here and run these missions. So we're gonna start with this one. This is gonna get our science minions. Uh, so we're gonna click start side story. There's gonna be a little cutscene. blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. Uh, and then it wants us to go into the big world and kidnap a scientist. So we have our options here. Now we're currently running schemes in all of these. So I'm gonna wait till they complete. This one should complete first. I will spend 10 grand here because this is the quickest way to lose a bunch of heat or it may actually end up maxing out before this scheme is complete. Uh, we'll see what happens here. If it does max out, this whole area will shut down for a period of time. Our scheme is done. Now we're gonna launch this one. We're gonna gain 15 heat. We should be fine. We have the 20,000 gold we actually have over that. It's also gonna cost us five workers, but we'll be fine there. We're gonna launch it. We're gonna go kidnap a scientist. Come over here and look, we got a bunch of different additional objectives that we can complete for additional money, like build prison tiles, kill an investigator. A bunch of investigators just jumped into my, or should be coming to my, yeah, they're coming to my base right now. We can click this, select our scientist lady, and then we can just click over top of them. And uh, she should attempt to go kill them. And our minions should get on them as well. Hey, lady, are you gonna are you gonna go kill them? Another experiment. Come, come on out here. Attention. And so, provided they don't get too close to her, she should be able to take them out. When they get close, they do some melee stuff. Yeah, you can see there. She just absolutely freaking destroys them, and they they didn't even stand a chance. If there's too many of them though; they could hurt her. But she's. Uh, She's doing all right, so we're just gonna click back there so she'll go back in her chair and regen her HP. By the way, she's like a, a raid boss type situation, so if you take a look at her HP here, each of these dots is a chunk of HP, so she'll lose this one and then goes to the next dot, and then that's like another 200, and then another 200. It's weird that they do it like that, but yeah, that's, that's how it goes there. Same thing with this, like each of these dots is another whole like bar. So we have the scientist, but one of the things we're gonna need in order to do anything with the scientist is a a prison so we're gonna grab this and let's see where do we want to put this let's put this um yeah right down here it should be fine we're gonna need to extend this out a little bit but we can uh we can put a prison in here so we'll just do something like that for now if we come over to here we're gonna need a holding cell for at least one holding cell for the prison and then this as well the interrogation chair so we're just gonna put that beside the holding cell like so and then we'll let them uh, do the thing now that we have the prison you can see that they're Bring in the scientist over here. So all we should have to do is then interrogate the scientist. All right, we have our scientist in here. So all we have to do is click this and then click escort prisoner. And then we want the prisoner to be escorted to the interrogation chair. And then eventually somebody will come along and take care of that for us. And here we go. It looks like we got a super eager minion that wants to do that. So he's gonna put the scientist in the chair and then that will unlock the ability for us to make scientists. has given us their secrets. All right, and there we go. Now what we can do is we can come over here to this room and we can select this. And uh, you know, let's see, where do we wanna put that? Let's just put that like that and that'll work. And then we can train up scientists. So in order to train minions, all you have to do is click this button here and then we come over to here and then we can tell it how many we want at all times. If any of them die, 
it'll just train more, but some of them cost, like you can see here, it's gonna cost this 253 per day. So we're just gonna start off with two scientists right now, so it will always make sure that we have two scientists. Like I said, if one dies, then another one will just come along, and, or another minion will come along and train and replace the lost scientist. All right, so now that we have our scientists, we need a place to do research for, or where a place where the scientists can do research. So we are going to build that right here, starting out, and we'll just do the same thing we've been doing. So there's our door. And to start with, we really only need some whiteboards. So we'll just grab a whiteboard here and uh, let's rotate that around and put it against this wall here. Yeah, that looks good. And uh, we can only really afford one right now, so we're just gonna do one. That will allow us to do research. We can do the research here. There's a ton of different things that we can research. Everything from the global operations, to the lair, to minions, to different traps, and all kinds of goodies. Um, so we are going to work on that. We're gonna start with this one that's gonna allow us to dig more stuff. Oh, actually for that one, we need the impact analyzer. We might have to wait a little bit before we can do that one. So I think what we'll do is we'll start with some global, global operation stuff instead. So let's uh, let's do that one. Let's begin that one. Global operations is important because it eventually allows you to increase your gold earnings, which is important because you need to do that. Like that's the basis for everything that you're doing in the game. But unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to wrap up here. Uh, I got a ton of footage to edit through for this one. But we only scratched the surface of this game, unfortunately. There's a lot more to it, bunch of different missions. And it just, I mean, what you see here is the basis for it. It just gets more complex as time goes on. So we got different levels here that we can go through. So we can dig down, eventually dig down to a bunch of different levels. As you see, there's the bottom level, and we'll eventually be able to dig that stone there. Come back up to the top here, and you can see there's a bunch of that that stone up here as well. There's the whole front operations thing where you run a casino. You can rip off customers in your casino as well. That's an additional way you can make money. You can slow down agents getting through, back through the, they'll come through the casino and end up back into your uh, area here. As you can see, we just had some agents that came in here and they managed to escape. So we need traps and a bunch of other different stuff for that as well. So it just gets a little more complex as from what you see here. But I think this gives you a good basis of what the game is mainly about we have some more agents here that we're gonna have to take out uh, the one thing that varies different in this one as opposed to a lot of the other dungeon style games like this is like your income is it constantly comes from here. I mean, there's other ways you can get income, but as to where a lot of the other like Dungeon Keeper style games, you're digging and that's where you get your income from. With this one, your income comes from the overmap and running the different schemes and you just constantly manage the heat that's generated over here and the schemes that you're running and you make sure that you always have schemes going. There's a lot of stuff in the global operations research tree that can like lower the amount of heat that you're getting and, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty interesting game. It's fun. I enjoy it. Like I said, it's got a lot of quirks in it that are just super freaking annoying. But if you can look past those, uh, the game is actually pretty fun to play. All right, I will leave a link for it down in the description. If you like what you see here, you can go grab a copy of it. If it goes to the Humble Store, it helps support the channel. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. And if you liked this video, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I put out other videos like this. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of if you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.